Hey guys, Matronix123 here, back again for Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric on the Nintendo Wii U. Last time we made a little bit of our way through the Sun Dungeon here, or whatever it's called, to try and get the next crystal. I think it's called Sun Crystal, why I call it the Sun Dungeon. Now in this episode we're gonna move on, so let's just go right on ahead and doing that. And yeah, we just cleared that elevator thing, which was overly tedious, but I mean, it has to be in every beat em up action game. There always has to be one of those enemy. Uh, Enemy sequences where the or the elevator sequences where the enemy ambushes you in the middle of it. It's just like a law of gaming at this point. So I I saw the enemy inside the thing here. I just wanted to see if I could do anything else, which I couldn't. So yeah, looks like we're gonna need to switch to Knuckles here. Unless actually no, let's do this part with Amy first because uh I've been playing as Knuckles a lot. So I feel like we should do this part as Amy. And I thought I was actually gonna fall there, but I mean, I guess good on them for making it a bit harder to fall. And one thing I've been meaning to say about this game for a while now is that we're starting to get to that point in the game where all this like really basic platforming stuff whoa all this really basic platforming is no longer like <clears throat> excusable to be in the tutorial part like now we're getting to the point where if the game is literally like this all the time then it's just gonna be you know a bit average overall let's see all right so that's one side so I guess I need to go to knuckles all right, let's go. Wait, let's climb down first. Let's see if there's anything down here. If not, then the, this is just a waste of time. And yep, it's just a waste of time. Fantastic. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, <laughs> Knuckles doing the happy dance. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on exploring through this thing here. This dungeon's pretty standard, as I've been saying for the past couple of seconds or 30 seconds, however long I've been saying it. The game seems pretty average at this point. I, I'm hoping it gets better, but I don't know exactly what I feel it's gonna be. And check on that force, field. force field's deactivated, so we can move on, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll stay as Knuckles, cause why not? Let's grab all these rings. Whoa, Knuckles, you're actually running. Knuckle fist, Sonic, Sonic Hedgehog, Knuckle fist. Uh, what did that do? It just kind of raised the platform a little bit? Do I... Is there a button I need to press? What do I do? Okay. It's, oh, wait. Okay. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a button on one of these sides. Okay, so... Let's go over here. Button. Button. Up. Ooh. Tricky. There was no last button. The game fooled me there with its simplicity. Time to go tubular? Oh, jeez. Okay, Knuckles. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Oh! Whoa! We actually curled up into a ball! That's a first! That's a first for this game! Bravo! More characters than just Sonic curled up in a ball, and it wasn't even a spin dash ball. Bravo! I didn't know this game was capable of such feats. Let's pull these handles, I guess. But before... Again. Before we try those tubes again, let's go up here and grab this treasure chest, probably more robot parts. Maybe if we're lucky, it'll have one of those crown things. I don't even know what they do yet, but I mean, whatever, man. They're just giving us crowns. I mean, crowns make us the king, I guess. I guess we're the kingly king of all kings. And Amy, who's a queen, I suppose. Well, then again, we're knuckles, so I don't really know. <laughs> Casino Park, anyone? <laughs> Let's Chemical plant zone? Robots. Anyone? No. All right, more robots. Let's keep on a punchy punch. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually yeah, miss the werehog and its complex and its relatively complex combos compared to this. Ugh, because at least with the werehog, you had a bunch of different kinds of moves, and while the levels were completely pointless and really long, I mean these levels pretty long. And while they're not completely pointless. If the comboing system's not even slightly fun, then there's literally no point to the beat. You have to have fun while you're fighting. I just, I just played through like Hyrule Warriors. Come on. That game, still not super complex. It's certainly more complex than this combat. Uh, this is like a weird hybrid of a bunch of game genres, and none of them really seem to work that much. They, they should have just focused on one style. But whatever. Let's just keep going on through the sun dungeon. And this robot guy... Maybe if the robots got a bit harder as the dungeon went on or something, or we encountered new enemies. Is it just gonna be these three robot types? The Or four, I guess, we're counting the snakes this entire game? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna be very upset. Because at least with Dark Guy as minions, we were introduced to more as we moved on. 
guys better not be getting into yeah. trouble. So, there's tail or we're going with um they were talking about Sonic and Tails. That's a good question. What are they doing right now? Hmm. We've been seeming to do a lot of sections recently with Knuckles and Amy. I'm hoping we actually get to play as Sonic soon. Mm. Okay. Oh no, it's a robot. Uh, scanning the life forms of life forminess. Oh. But positive for red echidna. Okay. Irrelevant. <laughs> Irrelevant. Oh. Blue Hedgehog. Information classified. Come on. Peer pressure acknowledged. Acquiescing. Peer pressure. Two. Blue Hedgehog is necessary to stop Lyric. Disclose Hedgehog location immediately. How do we know we can trust you enough to tell you that Sonic and Tails are a few levels down? Maybe if Knuckles had a bit of a brain. As opposed to being the biggest idiot what? in the entire world. In the Sonic Boom TV show... Did they lit? They literally didn't move that entire time. I'm pretty sure this is exactly where they fell. They never even moved. What have they been talking about this entire time? Sonic, you know, I wish we were in a better game. I agree, buddy. Let's move on to another game. <laughs> Let's go back to Sonic Team. Those zingers like Scrambled Eggman. You always try to use them just before you win a battle with an enemy. Important point here, they have to hear it or uh, they have the same impact. Is oh he was explaining to Tails, I guess. Sound like it was a Sonic says section or something. Also, uh running. Whoa! I can run on water now. Whoa, this really is mock speed sections. Holy cow! Who knew we could do this? Also Also, I'd like to point out the the wonderful quality on the the th on the water trailing behind Sonic is the, the, the best texture of game 2014. Not even close to the other HD games that we not even close to the graphical fidelity that even Lost World had. Not even Lost World on the Sega Dreamcast. Literally, I bet this is the same texture for Perfect Chaos. It, is, it looks very similar. Looks like we're interrupting some maintenance crews. Don't like the looks of this Sonic. Oh no. I don't like the looks of it either, Tails. It's more of the same enemies, and I don't really like facing the same enemies a million and thirty times. I, re I really agree with you there, Tails. That's not very fun. Maybe if the game designers could put some variety in their game, it'd make it more fun. But anyways, let's homing attack this guy. Hey, I can actually homing attack chain! It's a thing I can do in this game. They, re they retain something from the modern Sonic games. Oh, I've missed you, so homing attack. And... I love how I'm able to just bounce in midair. Wait, uh, where's Tails? Okay, Tails, come on. I need you to do your buddy bot, I think. Alright, uh, come on, buddy bot. Go in. I think I did it. Come on. Okay, I think he went in. So, let's keep moving along here. Um, fly. Floaty float. I still can't believe that Tails can glide in this game, but not Knuckles. It's boggles the mind and camera angle switch there really screws up things oh boy wait is that a no wait I'm gonna be able to run across this aren't I so I I wish Sonic could just boost through the door dang and he doesn't have the boost in the game I guess but still also I like how tails never even like uses his tails for combat he just kind of throws bombs I guess can he homing attack or anything no but he could Oh, excuse me. He can throw bombs in midair, so I guess that's good. Bap. Sonic BAM! Sonic BOP! Nice one, Tails. Tails Bedoozle! Tails Bomb! Tails Blast! Tails Blast! Alright. So there goes those guys. Let's use the bounce pad! And go up here. I guess let's use the bounce pad again. I have to spin ball as it I mean at least it's a kind I don't even think it's supposed to be a reference to Sonic spin ball but at least it sounds like it is as opposed to like you know spin dash whatever I guess the game's too cool for spin dash let's go let's go let's go let's go 
I'm not even holding down the spin dash button anymore. I wish I wish I had my webcam on. I'm not even holding down the spin dash button. Give me a minute while I find out how to get out of this uh, predicament here. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, save the planet from destruction. Alright, oh, nope. Uh, okay, so whenever I stand on this, it just automatically spin dashes me. Alright, that's okay, I guess. That's a thing that can happen. So, let's just move on back down there to the mock speed section part of the level with the water or whatever. Whoa, Sonic! Well, that was not meant to happen. It's a good thing I have infinite lives. Which is something that more games should do. I'll give Sonic Boom credit. It has infinite lives. So, oh jeez. Whoa, I was spin dashing there. <laughs> I know I was saying this before, but I really think that this texture that's used for the water here might be very similar, if not the same one that's for Perfect Chaos. Which would honestly be hilarious. But, I don't know. Oh. I love how Sonic's even doing a very similar pose to the mock speed thing here. Like, he's not holding his arms, like, behind him as he usually does. He's holding them to the side, just like a mock speed section. I mean, I guess it makes more sense in this situation, but even still. Also, I like how I can just slow... I can. I like how I can do this during the during the mock speed section. This is my, my favorite, just being able to completely break physics. And, what?! What? Nobody can catch us on this thing. This is. Can I? I can spin dash. I can. What? What? What's the point of water if you're just gonna add this? What's the point? You can just make it a speed section. Big jump. What's the point? What's? Let's go. Let's go. Big red button. It's the new soccer eye, I'll tell you. Except instead of being a good kind of troll, big red button troll. And by the looks of things, that doesn't seem very good. I mean, I was expecting this game, I wasn't expecting it to be that amazing, but it's just turning out average at this point. It doesn't even make sense anymore. Okay, Tails, the robots were obviously going to fight us. Also... You would think that in a different dungeon or something, they'd spice up the variety. I know I've said this multiple times now, but it's really boring fighting the same three robots over and over again. Sonic Boom 2, if that ever happens, which it won't, please fix. Seriously though, if Sonic Boom 2 ever happens, I'm gonna wonder what happened to, like, Sega's judgment. <laughs> Not to say this game is... I, I'm feeling the pain as much as many other people in this game so far. It's just... From the things I've heard and the things I am now experiencing, I can tell this might go a bit downhill. But you know, I'm gonna stay decently optimistic for this game. I wanna, I wanna be happy while playing this game for you. It is my first Let's Play after all. I did think this would be a good thing. So, let's spin dash here. I did think this is gonna be a good game. I'm not quitting my first Let's Play, that's for sure. I'm gonna play this entire game for you guys no matter how hard it gets. And who knows, maybe you guys like me watching me suffer. I wouldn't say I'm suffering quite yet, but I have a feeling it might get there. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm warning you guys, thinking, if, if you're someone saying, eh, this game doesn't look that bad, I am, I'm having a, I have a hunch that is gonna, about to get a lot worse, but, I mean, I could be wrong, we'll see, I, I mean, I don't, I still don't think it's as bad as people are saying, I don't think it's worse than Sonic 06 quite yet, or anything of the sort, that, that, that would be literally the accomplishment, accomplishment of the year, if it managed to be worse than Sonic 06, the, the accomplishment of the year but I mean currently it's it's I, I just want to see how it's shaped I want I want to see the finished the game and then I'll give it a full judgment I I, I don't I'm just giving my impressions because this is the first time I'm doing all of this you guys have to keep in mind it, it might not it might be almost a week now in fact pro no literally no 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 it's a day before a week the, uh, the from the game being out let me tell you the things you're seeing, it's literally the first time me playing it, so I I could not be giving my better first reactions, because these are literally my first reactions. <laughs> so, my first reactions, not as bad as I've been hearing, but we just have to see. So here we are to another one of those water running sections where I can literally stand on the water, which I still don't understand, but okay. And it seems as if I was actually supposed to hit the bounce pad before, so that death before was completely pointless. And this robot, I, I love how the robots just kind of stand there as I, um, 
As uh, I'm just destroying all his friends, he doesn't like call for backup. <laughs> Let's go down to the rodeo. Let's go. Hey, I'm gonna bring you into the water. No, no, Tails, stop. I'm gonna bring him to the water. Cause he isn't gonna die. Maybe if he could actually die, this would be a uh, useful attack. But of course not. I can't even combo into it. But you're going into the water with me, Mister Tails. Let's turn some water. Tails, you ruined it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Now I just gotta run across the water with perfect chaos. So chaos, how have you been doing since Sonic Adventure? It's been a good amount of years. <sighs> so, oh, oh wait, so this is called the Hydro Dash. Okay, whatever game wants to call running on water like some sort of religious figure that I won't say just in case any of you are very sensitive to religious stuff. I'm not. I could say it all day, but I'm not going to just in case one of you guys are offensive. If you if you guys are offended, tell me. Because if you're not, then I might say some stuff. But anyways, let's keep going forward. I've also noticed that Tails is like the one character that doesn't use like, a, like he he's like, I suppose saying your attraction. I'm stupid. I'm tired. I can't think of the word. But uh, like he um contractions. That's what it is. He I can't believe I forgot like a first grade word. But he doesn't use contractions. He's like, you are stuck. You are. I'm not. Look, I am not looking forward to this. I do not look forward to this. As opposed to everyone else is like, I don't look forward to this. Uh, you know, when the game gets to the point where it's a bit boring, you realize these things. This place gives me the creeps. This place gives Relax. us the creeps. It's not like anything's gonna jump out. Oh jeez, I wonder what's happening. I really didn't see that coming. I hope that was sarcasm. Hedgehog and fox confirmed. It is agreeable to see you both once again. It is agreeable to see Why you both again. Why keep saying that? Who are you? I am Maya. Maya. Long ago, I rebelled against my creator, Lyric, and helped imprison him. Mm. Now, a thousand years later, he has returned. We know that. We're looking for the crystals to stop him. Processing. There is a map that reveals we get a map. the location of all the crystals. We get a map! Where is it? Not where. When. Uh. It disappeared long ago. But this machine can transport you to a time. Oh no! Facility power is non-functional. Generator. Oh no! Up there. Oh hi, Amy. Hi, Knuckles. Amy, it looks like we're going into Sonic 06 territory. Me <sighs> too. I don't want a Sonic 06. I really don't want a Sonic 06. It's a thing I really would prefer not to do. How long is this dungeon? This place? Knuckles says it too. Once again, even if the characters say this thing of the problem, it doesn't make the problem right. In fact, I'm taking a break. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back here. Let's keep moving on through the sun dungeon. How much longer is it gonna be? Do I don't know. Maybe Knuckles and Amy should complain about it some more. That would be nice. I know I'm starting to sound a lot more negative towards this game. At the, within this part, like in the previous parts, I was saying how this game isn't really even that bad. But in this one, you can see I'm kind of roasting it. Why? Because at this point in the game, the quality should be, or at least the difficulty and the, the quality of the platforming should, should be increasing in quality a little bit by this point. Like... We're still doing the most basic of platforming. I understand this is essentially the first dungeon in the game, but still, the first dungeon should be a little bit more complicated. Time to climb. It's not that bad. It's really not. But I'm just getting a bit bored because this dungeon is a lot of the same -y kind of platforming. And we're doing a lot with Amy and Knuckles within the, not just this part, but the last part is too with the mine. I mean, they're good characters and all, but I really want to do some Tails stuff and some Sonic stuff. That'd be fun. Oh, jeez. I'm lucky that Amy has a triple jump. That makes it really good for platforming, I guess. I Can I can I jump? No? Am I not allowed an e to exit a rail until I'm completely no off it? Because that would be a shame. Yeah, it looks like I c you can't exit these, or you can't get off these rails until you're- uh, What? What the- What the- This is not one I can climb? Wait, wait. Oh. This is- This is not- This is not how it's supposed to be. No. Come on, I just want to get back. Where am I supposed to go if I'm not allowed to exit these rails? I'm like, st okay, so I jump off here. I'm supposed to no. 
I jump off here. I'm supposed to climb here. I go over here. Whatever, man. Maybe I can reach. No. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. I was stuck there anyway, so might as well kill myself. And wait, so I could just go back. So that was the part there. So that entire Amy section was entirely pointless. I love such useful parts of the level design that just needed to be there. They're just like my favorite parts of this game. Like when when you could have just taken the time to not glitch out the game and made the path not more simple, but you know, more in a way that if you fell, you could get back up without glitching the game out. I guess that's the best way I can the best way I can word this. I'm getting a bit tired of you, Sonic Vamp. No time for games. Treasure chest down there. You weren't worth it, man. You weren't worth it. So let's go up here. Let's climb up some whales. Some whales. Whales. Sparkly. We need to get the power from the crystal to all okay, the Okay. So. How do we do that without mm. frying? Okay. Whatever. Um. Wait. Was there a crystal? I'm tempted to get the trinket, so I will. All right. All right, Amy. Yeah. Let's get this trinket. You know, oh, it's my it's my gamer's instinct. I, I can't go without grabbing the trinkets. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to do this part of the level again. Oh, no, I won't anymore. Never, never, anymore. never mind. Knuckles stayed up here because he's an idiot. So I guess this is where Knuckles' lack of intelligence actually helps for once. So let's head over here. Maybe if we punch it really hard, it'll do something. I was honestly gonna start cracking up if, it, if that was how I cleared the puzzle, but of course not. What? Maybe the game didn't boot me off there. It looked like I jumped off by myself, but trust me there. It had some sort of weird gravitational pull against me. So, am I supposed to enter beam it? Is that what I'm... No, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Maybe over here, because it's the one that doesn't have all the... The blue gobbledygook. Punch? No. Is there a button on this side? No. Do I ground pound this? No. Hmm. I'm honestly a bit confused about what to do here. You know, you might be thinking, Oh, you see, the game gave you a puzzle. It's confusing you. Ha ha, you see, it's a good game. And the puzzles are great. Stop. No, it's... There's a difference between there being puzzles and there being puzzles that are not explained in the slightest. Like, you can say a puzzle's hard, but you need some sort of a hint. Like, need more power. I mean, I guess it was a bit obvious we needed to go to each one of them. But... I mean, maybe if they had said, if there, like, maybe there's something by the tubes or something, like, nothing, it's a, bar, a bit hard to explain without sounding like I'm contradicting myself, but, like, you can't just expect people to know how to beat your game. It's like, if you're making a game, you can't expect everyone knows the knowledge you do. And normally, I don't think I would be needing to say this, because I feel like most game designers know this, but I don't know, Big Red Button, you're giving me mixed vibes about your company. Especially since I've heard recently that apparently midway through development, a large member of the, of the team left either A, they were fired, or they left voluntarily. So, it doesn't give me hope, but I'm going to keep playing through this game no matter how rough it gets, guys. I'm going to play Sonic Band for you, and I'm just going to roll around his knuckles, because he's the fighting freak Knuckles. You ready? Except he's not that Knuckles, because that Knuckles had somewhat of an intelligence. Wasn't much, but it was more than this. I hope, I, I hope I'm not just blinded by games that are good. <laughs> At least with good character development and storytelling. I don't want another Sonic 06 time travel thing. Now we're gonna have the lyric trigger. At the end, we're gonna have to kiss Styx the Badger, except she'll be human Styx the Badger. And yay, we get the Sun Crystal. Fun. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> That's what I have to do whenever anyone's just standing there with their mouth open. Portal activating. Setting we're actually going back in time. I, will send you I mean, I guess they told us we were already That's going so back in time. Shadow? Shadow? What are you doing here, Shadow? Not a great time, Shadow. I'm a little busy. What is Shadow's purpose in this world? Saving the world. Is, is he still created by Gerald? Does Gerald exist in this world? Does Space Colony Ark exist? Does Maria exist? What is Shadow's beef? 
I'm going to show you just how weak the, you oh, are. Okay. The, all right. What What is Shadow doing? Is he working with Eggman? Is he working with Eggman? I don't... Why is Shadow here? I, I don't know. What is his beat? I don't know. Do, do any of the things from Sonic Adventure 2 onward count? Does he still have amnesia? Or did he have amnesia? Is, is this a new Shadow? Or... Is like... What? Game, explain yourself, please. Also, look at that. Look at that boss fight. I'm the coolest. What? Okay, we're back in time now. I'm the cool. And now we're in Ice Gap. Seriously, why? What was the point of bringing us to the Ice Age just for a change of scenery? Maybe if you change the enemy, maybe you explain things like why did it send us to the Ice Age? Why is Shadow here? There's, is Shadow from the past? Are we gonna see past Shadow in Space Colony Arc or what? Okay, he kicked sh tails. I want explanations now. Oh, now we're in Dinosaur Land. You know, I I wasn't even sure. <laughs> What is the point of this? The arena is the exact same. There's literally no point. I'm switching the tails because his range fighting is going to be a lot more useful for this part of the fight. Because Shadow seems to be teleporting. Like, because we can totally teleport. That's fair. That's that's totally fair, Shadow. I, I agree with your strategies. Take what? I just hit you in the face with a bomb. Maybe you're the one who should be taking that. Oh, Chaos Blast. Oh, no. I guess he is evil. I like how he's just gloating there. I'm the coolest. Oh, Tails died. It's a good thing we have infinite lives even in the middle of a boss fight game. Like, okay, I I, I, sh I actually deserve to die there for once and I would have restarted the boss fight. But the game... Uh, the game, it's... It's too easy, but then it doesn't give explanation for anything, which makes it slightly hard, or it doesn't make any sense in the story. This game just... How is this fighting style prehistoric? He's teleporting! This game makes no sense anymore! It really is Sonic 06! Just Shadow, just die already. Oh, jeez. I was a pointless plot point. Oh! Portal is ready. Uh, well, uh, what well, just happened? Maybe you kicked him. In the near future, not yours, mine. Maybe you just kicked him into the portal. Maybe that's what just happened. And what do you mean, not your future, my future? We live in the same future. Sonic 06. Sonic Bam. <sighs> Uh, explain yourself, game. Whoa, Sonic, <laughs> I guess Maya's accuracy needs some work. Whoa. What's even blocking him? Glass? Okay, hold okay. On. Find the map. Well, while Tails jump ropes using his own tails, I feel like with that with that wonderful plot point of Shadow being there, I'm not even gonna comment. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end the part here. We, I think we need a break. I think we all need a mind break after that one. I don't think, I don't think our minds can handle Sonic Boom's logic anymore. But yeah, this has been Patronics123 on a truly enlightening episode of Sonic Boom Rise of Lyrics for the Nintendo Wii U's quality. Join me back here next time where we travel through the future, I'm guessing, but apparently not our future, apparently Maya's future, which is where Shadow is in maybe, if he ever appears again. So... Join me next time for Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Hope you have a good day. Keep being you. This is Patronix123. Signing off. Sonic Bamf. Sonic Bamf. Sonic Bamf. Save the planet from destruction. Toot Toot Sonic Warrior.